Taiwan's a very modern country, very scientific. We have some of the best semiconductors in the yeah. world, right? Yeah. But then people are still so closely tied to some of these older beliefs and traditions mm -hmm. and stuff. You, 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 you can actually enter the semiconductor factory and you see like, you know, a packet of guai guai next to the machine. Yeah, know? exactly. And like, you know, I'm just like, whenever I see it, I'm kind of like, oh, you yeah, have guai guai. And like, yeah, yeah. Like, and it's just like, for me, it's kind of funny. So actually, when I was in university, I mm -hmm. studied uh, computer science, specifically focusing on artificial intelligence, AI. Okay. Um, but when I came here, it was actually post dot com bubble. So that was when like, you know, we had Yahoo and all these big companies came okay. up. They, a lot of them kind of collapsed, but this was mm -hmm. pre iPhone. So yeah. the app development wasn't really a thing yet. So there was a lot of people who had been working in this who were out of jobs, a lot of people who were you know, getting degrees in this so they could get jobs, but mm -hmm. the jobs just weren't there. And then my cousin, uh, he actually had taught in Taiwan for two years and he said, you know what? If you're not getting anything right now for work, why don't you just go to Taiwan, teach maybe one, two years, mm -hmm. and then you know that'll look great on a resume, yeah. you know, having that foreign experience. So he suggested I do that, and I tried it out, and yeah, I came here. So for one, two year. The original plan <laughs> was, you know, one, probably two, but then I stuck around, and now it's uh, I'm in my seventeenth, so okay. it's been a while. <laughs> so what happened? How did you expect Taiwan gonna look like? Uh, honestly, I was thinking closer to probably what people usually think of with Thailand, you know, more of the mm -hmm. let, you know, smaller buildings, more rural, that sort of thing. In fact, that was one of the things when I signed up, they said, okay, we'll give you a choice. You can work in Taipei, Taichung, or Kaohsiung. And mm -hmm. if you work in Taipei, that's going to be the most westernized. So that's going to be the most familiar to you. Okay. That's going to be the most comfortable. Uh, Kaohsiung is going to be the most local or the most Taiwanese and then Taichung is going to be somewhere in the middle. So I figured if I'm going to do it, I'm just going to jump in the deep end and go for the most, you know, exotic. Local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go for the most, you know, I want that true Taiwan experience. Yeah, yeah. So then that's why I chose Kaohsiung. How was the first year in Taiwan? The first year was actually mm -hmm. really good. Um, I had a lot of fun. I went to Spring Scream and met a lot of new people. Uh, you know, Taiwanese people and foreign people. So yeah, got into a couple of motorcycle accidents. Um, you know, so a couple of, <laughs> a couple of yeah. <laughs> uh, I was doing, I was, I was getting into an accident on average maybe every four to six months for oh. my first two years here. It sounds like, it sounds like that, yeah. Yeah, after that, I, to that? yeah after that I kind of learned the flow of traffic and now I've been pretty good since then, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> that first year was pretty rough. So, <laughs> so what's, the, what's the story about you? So I have these two here, and these mm -hmm. are actually related to some of those motorcycle accidents that I talked about before. Uh, what happened was I got into the one accident, then later on my wife, then mm -hmm. girlfriend, we went to Green Island, and so we had rented a scooter, but what happened was we were going around a turn, and one of the tires went flat, so the whole thing just kind of went like that, okay. and it flipped the scooter. And so we went down, she actually landed on top of me and ended up breaking my shoulder blade. Right. So it was just a little crack. But anyway, so I got into that accident and then my wife's mom said, oh, you know, we don't want him to get in any more accidents. We're gonna give him this one. And that's when I got the black one. And then actually the second one, the yellow one was when, I guess it was a little bit before my wife and I were gonna get married. And my mother-in-law, she said, you know, you need a, a proper Chinese name because, oh. you know, typically a lot of times foreigners just use the English or the Chinese translations of yeah, their names, yeah, yeah. right? So like, for instance, I'm Adam. So a lot of people would just say, yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. But then she said, no, you need a, a proper Chinese name. Of course. And so she took me to a fortune teller. The person's like, okay, when is he born and, mm -hmm. and all this information. And then they, she talks about, okay, you know, in Chinese, you have the five elements, you know, mm -hmm. uh, was it metal, wood, uh, earth, water, water and uh, fire. fire, right? Yeah. And so, you know, she said, okay, well, this guy's kind of out of whack. He's, he's got too much fire. His wood is good. Uh, his she fire's said, too high. She said your wood is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't thought of it that way, but... Um, yeah, no, no, no. I have another story similar to that, though. She said, yeah, the, the wood was fine, the, the fire was too high, water was okay, but I don't have metal and I don't have earth. Okay. So, for whatever reason, everybody should have five elements. I only have three. Okay. So, she said, okay, well, because of that, the if he wears yellow, 
that should help with the metal because yellow is like the color of gold. So okay. that'll help him with that element. And so then my mother-in-law went out and she got me this yellow one to compensate for that. Okay. So then that's how I got the second one. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. So, but it's something missing, no? the, the earth. So that, so that was in my Chinese name that they gave me. Uh, so ah, so my, my Chinese name, the, the, the middle character yeah, is... Two. Uh, hmm? Two? D. Uh, it, 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 it's it's related to Earth. It's not the actual word oh, for okay, Earth, okay, okay. but apparently, so like you know, words can have associations. Inside it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the association with this word is with Earth. So now you're all good. So now I'm all good. Does supposedly. It Does it work? Do you recommend a fortune teller? Uh, I mean, I come from a Western country, which was one thing that's really interesting to me, because mm -hmm. in America, you know, like we've kind of gotten rid of a lot of our older traditions you know like people talk about ghosts and ghost stories and stuff like that but most people don't really follow fun. it yeah. yeah yeah it's mostly just for fun like yeah. for Halloween or something mm -hmm. like that but coming to Taiwan where you know Taiwan's a very modern country very scientific we have some of the best semiconductors in the yeah. world right yeah. but then people are still so closely tied to some of these older beliefs and traditions mm -hmm. and stuff like like for instance fortune telling and things yeah. like that 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 was kind of a culture shock for me was just okay. how seriously people took that i think it's actually it's actually very interesting because you know like you you, you, you can actually enter the semiconductor factory and you see like you know a packet of guai guai next to the machine you yeah know? exactly and like you know i'm just like whenever i see it i'm kind of like oh yeah guai guai and like yeah, yeah. like it's just like for me, it's kind of funny, but it's you know if it works, whatever you know. Yeah, exactly. It's not it's not hurting anybody. So. Like the pineapples everywhere to bring the business. <laughs> like you put a pineapple in it, it's business. But don't bring pineapples to hospitals and police office because you don't want too much business going on there. <laughs> it's it's also the fire station, right? Yeah. You yeah. Have a, so what are other places you shouldn't bring pineapples to? <laughs> uh, gee, I don't know. I would know a lot of people would say don't put pineapple on your pizza, but I'm actually a big fan of Hawaiian pizza, so I would say definitely do put pineapple on your pizza. <laughs> That's my personal take. So since uh, uh, your wife sometimes wants to move to states and you are the one who stick to that one, no, no, we stay here. What are your like five main arguments? Okay, um, one, the food is really cheap. Like I said, the cost of living is just mm -hmm. so low. Housing's a little bit higher. You know, just being able to buy food super cheap and things like that. You can live on a fairly low budget, which actually mm -hmm. gives me a lot of freedom because I don't have to, you know, just work all the time yeah. to be able to survive. Um, healthcare, obviously, here. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people will talk about American healthcare not being the best. So it's really convenient here, you know, if I need to go to the dentist or something like that. Super easy. Mm -hmm. um, taxes are another one that's actually really easy in the States. You know, people have to file everything and you have to, you know, fill out all these forms and do all these things. Taiwan, I just go to the office and just bring my ID card and then everything's kind of calculated for me here. So it's actually really simple. Wow. I actually really enjoy riding a scooter despite having all these accidents. It's you, actually you a lot of fun. You don't have them anymore. No, I don't have them anymore, but it's actually really uh, convenient too because you know, parking, you just park wherever you want. Yeah, you which, leave whenever you want. Right, you exactly. You want. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I really enjoy that. And let's see, number five, what would that be? If I go to a city in the States, like New York, mm -hmm. you know, you can travel 30 minutes and it still feels like New York, everywhere in New York. Maybe it's a little bit different, you know, mm -hmm. but it, it feels pretty much the same. But for instance, here in Kaohsiung, you know, I can be in where I live over in Sanming, which is kind of yeah. an older part. You go further west into Fengshan, it starts to feel kind of more like a small town kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like you come over here. And yeah, events. yeah, yeah. You come over here in Zoying and it's like, you know, kind of the newer developed area. Yeah, yeah. You can go down to uh, like the Love River or something like that. Mm -hmm. and, and it feels like you're in, an, in, in like a beach town, mm -hmm. which, you know, it, over in Sanming, it doesn't, I can completely mm -hmm. forget that I live anywhere remotely close to the ocean. So I think yeah, yeah. just Taiwan. In, it's true. It's yeah, true. it's just every, it's, it's kind of a, you get like the big, you know, you get all those differences like you would in a bigger country like the States, but that's all compact down. Mm -hmm. So you can actually see these different kind of microcosms of society much more easily. So that's always interesting to me. So since you, you were talking about the food, uh, the prices are good, but what is actually good to eat in Taiwan? My favorite's gonna be the uh, spring rolls, you know, where you get like the duck and it's got the, um, I don't know what the sauce is made of, but it's like a brown now sauce. Now is the period for that, right? Exactly, this is my uh. favorite time of year. <laughs> so I, I took the other guy for like to the shop, like, you know, like he doesn't speak word in Chinese, and he just say ni hao and xie xie. And like, oh, yeah, yeah, you got shit. Like, you're gonna eat first time the GP go. And like, everybody's like, oh, hao tzu, hao tzu, hee hee hee, like people smiling, you know. He ate that and it's like, 
tastes like something. <laughs> yeah, we went to a place when my mom visited and they had the chicken soup. It still has like the head and the feet on it. And so it's in the bowl and my mom's sitting there and they pull it off and there's this chicken head looking like right at her and this foot, like the claw coming out and she screams in the restaurant because she was not expecting that at all. 